Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we're going to talk about something today that is very particular and it's a Intel security flaw for its CPUs, the processors that we use in our PCs. Now, long, you know, like almost two years ago, about a year and more than a year and a half ago, we were actually uh, still recovering and wondering what the, um, basically what the Spectre and Meltdown flaws were going to, um, you know, do to the world because we had discovered that Intel CPUs and then it's learned that pretty much every CPU that was made from any company had some of these flaws in it. Now, yesterday, May 14th, 2019, something happened. Intel announced that something called Zombie Load is a security flaw within its processors. It affects only Intel CPUs from what we know. And if you want to know exactly what it means and if you should be scared or not, here's the thing. So Zombie Load is a new security flaw. What happens is that with special code, you can actually read what's happening within the um, Intel CPU processes. So that means you can pretty much see what the computer's doing and see and get information, steal from your computer all sorts of information. Now, how bad it is, it's actually quite bad, but there's a nice side to it. To actually have this um, working, you gotta have some code that runs on your PC to actually um, execute and, and, and steal the information. That means from the standpoint of being outside of your PC, being on the internet, well, without having at least a code that goes in your computer that's run to actually read that information, you can't read it from just looking at it. You, you need to have that code running on the PC. So that, of course, lowers slightly the risk factor because it actually needs to have some code downloaded to your PC to do so. But it's still a big, big risk because anything you can download can be modified and you don't even know about it and, yep, you're being spied on because of this security flaw. The good news, if you're running Windows 7, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, Microsoft has said that they already have patched your computer against this flaw. So that is good news for people running modern in, uh, operating system, as long as you got the latest security updates from Microsoft. So on Windows 10, you gotta have the latest, you know, uh, security updates from Patch Tuesdays, uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 also. Now, if you're on a Mac or on a Linux machine, Mac um, has issued a fix for some Mac computers on the latest Mojave operating system. It's very important, once again, to have the latest version. And this is going to be a problem for a couple of reasons. A lot of people are still running a previous version of Mac OS that doesn't have the fix. So, you know, try to get the latest version if you can because it's gonna make you safer. But on the Mac computer, there's a really big problem. The patch can slow down your Mac up to 40%. That's a huge slowdown. And a lot of people might actually see a big difference in performance once this is done. On the Linux computers, the fix comes through a um, simply something that is a um, kernel, a Linux kernel update. So if you update your Linux distros, you will have Linux kernel updates. So by being on the latest core of the, the update, you'll have a fix for that on Linux computers. Now, what about PCs? You know, it slows down the Mac. Does it slow down the PC? It might slow down the PC um, roughly around 15%. Unfortunately, these fixes, that's the big problem. It might slow down the PCs a little bit. They might actually make it a little slower. It's not as bad of a slowdown at that melt, you know, meltdown and uh, Spectre, the mitigation first had, but it's still a slowdown. Uh, Intel also issued a microcode update. So some of you with m latest machines that have updates from your manufacturer might actually have a microcode 
uh, fix for this. The CPUs uh, that are affected are everything that was made after 2011. So that's also something to know. So basically, run the latest versions of your operating system and you're safe. Not totally. There's a little catch. Uh, in many cases, it doesn't completely block the uh, the um, you know problem, but at least it mitigates. And um, when you update your uh, your uh, browser, a little bit like the Spectre and Meltdown, both Google Chrome, uh, Firefox have announced that at some point there'll be some mitigation done in the browser to also try to prevent these types of attacks from the zombie load uh, security flaw. So that's the latest information. Hope that you enjoy. Uh, hope that it relaxes your nerves. If you're on the latest operating system updates, you should technically be okay. Uh, and uh, hopefully that doesn't slow down too much your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.